New details on a joy ride that turned deadly for two young girls when the car they were in crashed. They were in a car with five other children, all too young to drive. CBS 4's Peter Dench live tonight in Fort Lauderdale. And Peter, you spoke with the sister of one of the injured. What is she saying? Well, Rick, she's urging youngsters to think twice about their actions, saying if something does not seem right, don't do it. BSO says the children who were riding around in the stolen vehicle from Coconut Creek were between 12 and 14 years old, and the driver was 14. Cap told me she is devastated by the accident that took the lives of both her 12-year-old niece, Cheyenne Naismith, and her 13-year-old sister, Anasha Johnson. And what did she mean to you and the family? I have a lot, sir. What's she like as a person? She was a beautiful person inside and out. Kat's 12-year-old sister, Ashanti Johnson, and 13-year-old niece, Tiana Naismith, were also injured when BSO says their vehicle hit a pole on a railroad track and flipped over in Pompano Beach. It's just baffling. I just, I don't understand. BSO says the stolen vehicle was going westbound on Northwest 15th Street and was driven by a 14-year-old boy. It happened just before 3 in the morning. Do you know where they were going? Any idea where they were going, why they were together? They was just uh, right kids. kids. <laughs> Loved ones are overwhelmed. I'm devastated because my grandchildren knew that if they needed a ride from somewhere that they could have always called me or they could have called their granddaddy or anybody to come get them. Now the victim's classmates in Pompano Beach Middle School are coping with this tragedy. These students say they were close friends of Cheyenne, whose nickname was Nay, and it was known as Cha-Cha. We knew her from um, around the school. Everyone used to talk about her, how, how, good, how good of a friend she was to everyone. Don't hop in the car with, with kids driving in the car, especially it's a stolen car too. That's not good. Just, it's, it's not, it's not, you're not lame to say no. Anything you'd like to say? Think about it before you do it. If it doesn't feel right, doesn't look right, don't do it. And that's why Cad, who lost his sister and a niece, is speaking out. It's not clear at this point why the youngsters were up so late at night and where they were going. It's also not known where the car was stolen from at Coconut Creek. Charges against the driver who's hospitalized here at Broward Health Medical Center are pending. We're live in Fort Lauderdale, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.